What's up there YouTube? We should be live both on YouTube as well as Twitch.tv. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that everything is running smoothly. Everything should be going well. I'm able to see you guys' chats and you guys are able to see your chats. Whether you're on Twitch or YouTube doesn't matter. And I should have all my stuff set up for all the Baby Dragon Squad. I'm testing out all the new features that I have on my stream. I have alerts going on. I have all the Baby Dragon stuff squad like set up to where like any anyone that subscribes, donates, sponsors, like any of that other stuff. All that stuff is like fully set up and it should work. And uh, you guys should be able to see everything. So uh, there's probably a couple of you guys in here. So that should be exciting. I'm probably going to be uh, messing around on Dueling Book as well as perhaps doing a couple test draw videos. I do have a, uh, I do still have my current format deck more or less. And I never did a test draw video with it. So I'm probably going to do a test draw video with this live for you guys. And then this will also be uh, able to be seen later on. So if anyone wants to go back and see all my stuff, you guys will be able to see it. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to make sure that you guys can see everything both on uh, YouTube and Twitch. And then I also want to make sure that the audio is okay for you guys and visually it's fine. Uh, I just, if you guys can post, that'd be very, very helpful. Um, so there's a couple people already in here. So what's up to Young Breezy, Master Swag King, Forever Banishment, uh, Eastlayer the Tamer, and Connor Thompson. What's up to all you guys? Uh, we are live right now. You guys should be able to start seeing you guys' uh, chats on screen. That's probably going to have a little bit of delay because I'm actually using Restream.io. Uh, but nonetheless, it should work for the most part. Uh, it's something that I'm testing out. I'm trying to stream to multiple platforms. And, um, you know, it's it, sh it should be fine. It, sh it should be okay. Like I said, I know there's a couple of people on Twitch. There's a couple people on YouTube. So be aware of that. I have both running right now so I can make sure that everyone is here. And uh, yeah, should be playing. More than excited to stream for you guys. We're going to be doing Dueling Book more than likely first. Or you guys can pick the topic. Uh, I'm actually probably going to be giving you guys an option to pick what topics are. I know that's something I, I don't really want to do too heavily. Like I don't want to do like focus everything on just like monetary gains. Uh, but I'm thinking about in the future where like people that donate like a dollar or five dollars or something like that or ten dollars, I could either do and like build a deck and then play with it or maybe they could pick like a discussion topic and I could do that. Uh, that's something that I'm considering doing. Uh, so if you're on YouTube, you can obviously do super chats. If you're on Twitch, you can obviously just do like the standard donation stuff. But all that stuff is going to be going to the channel as well as also potentially helping me get to world uh, nationals this year uh, just because right now little bit of a slump, a little bit of complications, but hopefully we can uh, eventually raise money in the next month or so, so I can hopefully end up going to that for you guys and getting a ton of deck profiles, a ton of videos done for you guys, and finally end up attending nationals again. So uh, I'm excited for that. We got a uh, Master Swag King funded $5, so works. I'm excited for that. It actually works. Everything is on stream. stream. I appreciate it, man. Uh, but we're going to start playing here. Uh, if anyone wants to suggest either any topics or maybe some kind of goofy thing, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a duel in the background while I interact with you guys so we can figure out what we're gonna do here. Just because I wanted to make sure that everything is going well, rather than me just like come on here and then just like have a topic and then you guys not want to hear about it or uh, really talk about it. So uh, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna pick a random duel here. We're gonna see some of the top duels on Dueling Book. Maybe we could even do some commentary over some of these duels. Uh, that's pretty wild. Someone has Kylie Jenner as their <laughs> as their profile pic on on this, which is really wild. I uh, uh, if if we if you like Kylie Jenner, you better slap a like on this video. Or if you don't like her, I don't know what you're doing with your life, man. She could be made out of plastic, and I would love me some Kylie Jenner. Just throwing that out there. But uh, seems like we have found a random duel with uh, Burning Abyss Phantom Knights as well as True Draco. Bao Baboon deck. I'm not really certain. Kind of strange here that uh, we've seen that. Uh, shout out to Jake Snakes. Everything's working perfectly. Shout out to Fish Tactic. He's on Twitch. So uh, you guys that are both on Twitch and YouTube, all you guys' chats should be able to appear both on, on this video. You guys should be able to see it right here below me in this little chat window. You guys can see that all the chats from YouTube and Twitch are being compiled in one. So that's very exciting. Uh, I'm also going to update the description on the YouTube live dashboard just because that's something that I did not do earlier. Uh, so <laughs> I, I really want to make sure that everything is going well with that. Uh, in addition to that, I also just want to make sure that all the visual stuff is good because I know for YouTube and Twitch streaming, 
there's some differences between the bit rate. So for instance, I have to stream in a little bit of a lower quality for YouTube, but or uh, for Twitch, but YouTube can take a higher quality. So I have to balance it out. So I want to make sure that it's not laggy for you guys. And there's no issues with that. Uh, but we can see like on screen, everything seems to be holding up more or less the chats holding up and the visuals are holding up. So we're on dueling book. Like I said, if you guys don't know what dueling book is, I will put the link down below in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you guys will be able to see that. Uh, playing dueling I'm gonna I'm gonna update the description for you guys so you guys will be able to see it here playing dueling book here so I'm just I'm looking over at my second window if I'm not looking at you guys that's why uh, that's why that's going on but uh, uh, uh master King swag asks am I playing zoo still uh, I haven't played in the last like week and a half two weeks just because I've been busy with finals and midterms and not mid not just midterms I was busy with midterms a couple weeks ago now I have finals next week. This is my last week of class So I had a couple papers due so I didn't play but I do have a zoo deck true Draco uh, Preta plant fusion Kaiju variant zoo built and the deck ended up being like 70 or 80 cards So I had to cut a lot of stuff out of it. It was just a fun concept, but it was still relatively competitive uh, East Slayer the Tamer asks, "What do deck am I using?" Uh, I use really anything that I like. Currently, one deck I'm really liking is that weird uh, Zoo Balbaboon deck that I've been playing. It's it's really awkward because it plays 60 cards, and most people don't play 60 cards. Uh, a poor Indian asks, "What are you using now that DN is down?" Well, if you see on screen, I'm actually on this website. It's basically Dueling Network. It's the same exact thing, except it's called Dueling Book instead of instead of Dueling Network. If you guys are on my YouTube, you can see the link down below. On my Twitch, I will post a link so you guys can see that. Uh, this is the link to Dueling Book. You guys should be able to see that uh, quite easily, mind you. Uh, but with that being said, let's see. Let me make sure everything is Gucci. Oh, I was updating the information for you guys. So let me just add all that stuff in the description. So you guys can click on the links if you guys need them. Uh, because I, I don't want to like, I, I don't want you guys to not know where I'm playing and where I'm doing all this stuff. I want you guys to have as much accessibility and transparency with me as possible. Um, so let's just go on here. Where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Let me just make sure it's all good. Okay, so we're going to go there. We're going to add that to here. And pick a discussion topic. So you guys should be able to see this. I'm going to make sure that the, uh, the description is updated. It should be good right now. Uh, so let's see. Ultimate nerf. Uh, what did you post? What's my favorite archetype? Uh, my favorite archetype is probably gladiator beasts like from old-school stuff I really like the original monarch decks not really a fan of all the new monarch stuff uh, We're gonna go find another duel by the way. Sorry to interrupt you, but uh, this this duel is kind of those guys weren't really doing much uh, These guys seem to be playing we got zoo versus probably ABC's because this guy's a photon thrasher or some Minerva deck uh, but uh, shout out to Team APS. Uh, hi to him. He's in the chat right now. So if you guys love Team APS, drop a like on this video and comment down below that you love him. Super channel. I have a huge amount of respect for Paul. He's killing it out there, man. I think he, I think Paul is like close to like eighty or ninety thousand subs or something ridiculous like that, man. You're just killing the game. So uh, hopefully I can do do as well as you are one day. But um, let's see here. Let me just make sure that I have all the chats up. Uh, because I know Nightbot was uh, removing some of you guys' chats. Hopefully I can edit Nightbot and like fix it up soon. Uh, I don't want Nightbot to like re be removing you guys' chats. Um, I think they have like, I think there's like a really weird setting on Nightbot where, you know, it, it restricts your spam even if it's not necessarily spam. But again, yeah, shout out to Team APS. He's in here. Uh, and I can, let's see what else is here. Because I have to I have to look at both chats because sometimes the messages won't actually appear in Restream for whatever reason. Um, and I'll have to like reconnect all the time. So I don't know why it does that. But Steven Doloro says, hey, Inch95, are you continuing with the zoo with, uh, with zoo past June 12th? Uh, I think zoo is still probably the best deck past June 12th, regardless of if it, you know, since it doesn't have the loop anymore. Uh, I think true Draco zoo is probably going to be a little bit better uh, moving forward. I mean, it's just it has such a high power ceiling. It may have a little bit less consistency. In my opinion, like if you're playing like the Preta Plant version, it's really, really good. I think Preta Plants with Brilliant Fusion, it's just insane. Like Brilliant Fusion Masterpiece is, is crazy. And if you guys want, I can do a test draw video in a little bit for you guys 
with my actual deck out in front here. I think you guys will really, really enjoy that. Um, and if you guys want, I can actually just like take a break from Dueling Book uh, after I read you guys' chats right now and actually do a, a video of that. And I, I think it'll be great for you guys because you guys will get to see how I think about it um, and how you play. I think the pure zoo version right now, personally, is more consistent. That's why a lot of better players tend to lean towards it. But I think the True Draco version, especially the way that I'm playing with like Preta Plants and Brilliant Fusion, just gives like a whole new dimension and dynamic to the deck that the deck didn't necessarily have before. Um, and that's something that's very important. I think in, I think in Yu-Gi-Oh, you want to be able to have as much uh, as much of a multifaceted deck as possible without necessarily sacrificing too much consistency or too much of your power ceiling. Um, so those are some things. Uh, but Ultimate Lerf, Nerf is taking off, so take it easy, man. Uh, East Slayer the Tamer, add some Gaga Ga cards in your deck. <laughs> uh, I don't know about adding Gaga Ga cards in my deck, man, but uh, what is this guy? This guy's playing actual Photons. We see Photon Satellite, Photon Thrasher. So uh, this is pretty wild. We're seeing this guy play all this stuff. Um, Young Breezy says, Golden State taking it all. I will actually be watching the Golden State game tonight. Uh, I'm so excited to see Golden State win tonight's game. Hopefully they win and take a 3-0 lead over the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, I lived in Oakland and Emeryville for m majority of like half my life. So about half my life. So I have to support the dubs without without a shadow of a doubt. I love the dubs. I'm a diehard Lakers fan. Lakers till I die. But, um, you know, I, I got to support the dubs, man. They're just killing it. They're just so good. They're too good, if anything, you know. It's like Zoo with the Luna Light combo. Uh, <laughs> Jared Wickman, lucky you're not playing against Crystal Beast True Kings. That's wild, man. Uh, Jonathan Lai Payaya asks, do I own all the true Draco stuff? I do actually have all the true Draco stuff except one masterpiece. I only have two masterpieces. Um, I do have everything else. I can actually show you here in my, uh, true Draco zoo variant. Um, see, like I have like the, like regular masterpiece. I have the return. I have diagram. I, I have all the like relevant stuff for it. I could get away with playing, uh, two masterpiece. I would probably only be playing two in this version anyway. Um, just because it's not necessary to play, you know, an absurd amount of them. Um, Master Swiking, let's do an Ice Barrier Mirror Match winner gets $1,000. I have no clue anything about Ice Barriers. The only Ice Barrier cards that I know are Brianak and Gungnir and Dulorin. Other than that, I don't know any of those cards. So uh, you're probably going to win that, man. You're too much of a champion for me. Uh, Steven Deloro, I'm going to buy you a shirt that says, I survived Oakland, California. <laughs> I mean, I did. People think I, I'm i a just generic white boy, man. I lived in Oakland, Emeryville for most of my life. So about like, what, 11 years? No, something like that, like 10 years. So uh, that's that's something you guys got to keep in mind. I'm from Oakland. We're, we're real OGs out here. You know what I mean? I, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! in Oakland. That That's that's how you know I'm a real OG Yu-Gi-Oh! player. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! in Oakland, it's like, it's, like, it's like going to Compton in L.A., and like walking around with like Yu-Gi-Oh trading cards and not expecting to get it robbed for your blue eyes, man. It's wild. Um, <laughs> uh, but let's see what else you guys are talking about here. I'm trying to make sure I have all you guys' chats up. Uh, SK2CrazyJ says, Hey Inch, after seeing the June 12th ban list, uh, I haven't have I don't have a clue what deck to play, and I'm not a high end player playing decks like Zoo or True Draco. Any other deck ideas worth trying to pick up? Well. Uh, keeping in mind the fact that you want to probably accommodate whatever you're playing moving forward for uh, the new, not just the new list, but also keeping in mind that Link Summoning is coming out, you probably don't want to be investing too heavily uh, into anything if you're not going to the North American World Championship Qualifier, or if you're not actually going to be, uh, if you're not actually going to be doing any anything with those cards, like playing at a high level. It probably just makes sense to pick up something casual and fun. I mean. I've always been a fan of like Mermails and you know GBs and other decks like that that I always like to profile multiple times on my channel because I like them. Um, I like Gears. I like a lot of decks that I like. So really, if you're really trying to not put into money, much money into the game and you don't really care too much about going to a lot of these top events, just pick a deck that you like and work with it. You really don't need to be like doing all these excess you know, transactions and buying and selling and all this other nonsense that people try and tell you that you need to be doing to have fun with the game because if you're playing it at that level that's probably enough incentive for you to have fun as it is so um that's something you want to be aware of I, I i don't think you need to be going above and beyond like just play something that you like like if you give me like three decks that you like i could probably tell you which one's probably the the most you know the cheapest and also probably something that could relatively compete among those three you know um <laughs> let's see what else you guys are saying here compton status of course 
uh, I may as well be part African American, man, because I, like I said, living in Oakland, oh, I went to an all black school for like a year and a half, two years uh, after going to a private school in Oakland and Berkeley Hills. Oh man, that was wild. I learned, that was the first year I learned as a kid what the word ghetto meant. I didn't know what ghetto meant. I didn't know what sagging meant. And I didn't know, I, I was so mad. And this is a story I might save for an actual video, but um, I, I'm going to save this for an actual video one day or for my actual, um, for my actual personal like vlog channel or once I start up my second channel. Because I have a really crazy story and I think you guys are really going to laugh at it. Um, imagine a, scr a scrawny white kid in an all-black school. I'm pro I promise you guys will laugh at that story. You guys got to remind me to do a video on that one day. Uh, F-I-S-H Fish says, uh, I want a local tourney beating out all the Zodiac decks with a variation of your chain burn deck. It was awesome, but now everyone hates me. That's what you get for playing chain burn, man. It's, uh, you can win, but the reality is, is that you'll, you know, people won't like you, dude. <laughs> Uh, EHS Yu-Gi-Oh, what's the best way to grow a Yu-Gi-Oh YouTube channel? Uh, you're asking the wrong person, man. I, I don't even have a big YouTube channel. I've been doing this for 10 years. People like Team APS and Sam from Samurai, uh, Team Samurai X and, uh, everyone else out there that's doing YouTube that has like over 50,000, 60, 70, 80,000 subs. Everyone out there is just killing the game. I'm still sitting here after 10 years doing it longer than any of those guys. And I don't even have 30,000 subscribers. Like, that's how you know you're asking the wrong person. So I've just been grinding for a long time. Hopefully in the future, well, now that I'm starting to stream a lot more and interacting with you guys, uh, it'll help and hopefully it'll help grow my channel. But um, you know, if you guys are new to the stream or anything like that, you guys are new on here, you guys definitely gotta subscribe. If you guys wanna help, help get me to nationals and maybe pick up some stuff to actually go there and potentially improve my equipment for YouTube, feel free to donate, very much appreciate it. Um, and if you donate five bucks, you get to pick the next topic. That's how we do it here. Uh, EHS or ELS Slayer Tamer God cards in my deck mess up. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, and I know Nightbot, I'm going to work on the Nightbot settings probably after I stream, but I know Nightbot is a little bit sensitive right now in terms of deleting some of you guys' chats because uh, it thinks you guys are spamming, even though I know you guys aren't. So don't be, don't be aware of, uh, don't be afraid of that. Just keep chatting, but try not to go overboard because it might time you guys out. Uh, let's see. Uh, Steven Doloro says, IMO, Konamerica is gonna F over Zodiacs completely. They might hit True Dracos as well, uh, since nobody is playing Link Dex currently in OCG. Uh, I don't know. We'll see, man. I think, uh, I think it's cool what they're doing. I don't think, like, I, I love Konami. I think it's great what they do with the game. I think, you know, people, people give Konami too much flack, dude. It's a company. There's always trade-offs. There's positives and negatives. I, you know, I'm a huge supporter. As long as they're they're making their money, as long as they're providing events, that's all I care about. You know, all the format, competitive, bandless stuff. That's like, that's totally like out of the spectrum of their worry because the reality is, uh, competitive play, bandless stuff. Like that's a big audience for them, but it's nowhere near like the overarching like, like frame of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like so many other things fall under Yu-Gi-Oh. Like the show and you know the the manga and all this other stuff that Konami actually like like subcontracts and does and and has ties with like all the games toys uh, shirts all these other products the cards themselves um it goes far and beyond that so people give konami too much flack man i i, I support konami all the way and i and i you know they, it's it's difficult sometimes to work with them just because it, they have a lot of stuff going on in my experience um and they have so many different departments that people aren't aware of that like i'm, I'm never someone that's just going to blatantly bash konami well well i think that there's things that they could potentially improve on there's no reason that it's not, it's counterproductive to just mindlessly bash on them. That's not going to help anyone, you know? Um, you're not going to expect them to reply if you're just bashing on them. So, um, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Don't bash Konami, man. They're the, they're the people that make the game and help the game and support the game and ultimately, like, design the game. And without them, we don't have Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, that's something to be aware of, you know? Because if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh at the competitive level and you decide to quit because of some irrelevant ban list, there's probably 10 other people that are entering the game that just learned about it through everything else and are playing the game. Um, this guy's actually using Brotherhood of the Firefist Bear. That's kind of interesting. Uh, that was kind of popular when Zoo first came out. Not as popular right now. Uh, it's it's okay. It's okay. But uh, let's see. People are asking me, what am I going to be playing when Link's dropped into TCG? I couldn't tell you, man, because you know we don't know what the format's going to be like. We're going to see what happens then. Uh, people are talking about uh, Steven Doloro says Guikis and Trickstar seem good, although a Star Grail seem really broken, especially if they get more support. I don't know. I haven't looked at those decks personally. I couldn't really tell you. Maybe I'll do like a live stream either this Friday or next week after uh, between my finals. 
uh, on any of these archetypes. I can go on them, and I can do a stream, and we can look them up and talk talk about them together and maybe I can have someone on that knows a little bit about them and we kind of discuss those archetypes. I think you guys would really enjoy that. All right, let's pick another duel. And uh, after this, after I go over like three or four more messages, I will do a live uh, test draw session. So you guys are about to see a live test draw session of me live streaming uh, my zoo deck or my true Draco Preta plant fusion Zudak, and you guys are going to see some of the crazy combos and potentially some of the House of Bricks that we draw. Um, El Slayer, the Tamer says, "My friend has a Crystal Beast deck. They whipped your butt with. Uh, you got to keep trying, man. Your friend is pretty good then." Um, Jared Wickman says, "I'm telling you, Crystal Beast can summon Masterpiece pretty easily. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. I haven't tested it. I couldn't really tell you, man, but I wouldn't doubt it." Uh, Jonathan Lai asks, would you do more retro deck profiles? I would love to do more retro deck profiles. If you guys want to send in some and uh, I could feature them live on the live stream here, I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let, me, oh, let me scroll all the way down to all the new chats. Uh, <laughs> dropping a Mermel deck profile on your channel tomorrow. RIP of uh, Battle Pack Megalos. That's, it's fine, man. doesn't matter what kind of... Uh, <laughs> what kind of stuff you have going on? It's uh, as long as uh, as long as you have some kind of uh, some kind of cards, the rarity shouldn't matter. Honestly, like rarity for cards doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. All right, guys. So we're gonna exit this duel, and what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna change uh the viewing window for myself. So I'm gonna make it so you guys can actually see something else. We're gonna aim this down. And I'm going to get a mat here, and we're going to actually, you guys are going to see me using, oh, I turned off my monitor. You guys are actually going to see me dueling here, or doing some test draws with my deck. So, let me move all my stuff here, my phone, and let's grab a play mat here, guys. We need a play mat. Uh, let's, what's a cool play mat to use? Let's use this play mat. And don't worry, I'm going to make the window bigger so you guys can see it. I'm also going to flip the screen. Uh, you guys should be able to see that pretty soon. Let's add one here that says this only. Add test draws. Actually, no, 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 no. You know what we're going to do? We're going to keep the same one, but we're going to move this. We're going to move my face cam. Oops. I'm going to move this over so I can still see you guys' stuff. You guys know what I mean. Uh, alert box face cam. We're gonna put this. <laughs> I got you guys. Hold on. You guys are gonna have to give me a second here. I got the Preta plant stuff going on. Don't worry. I'll, I'll make it easy so you guys can see it. It's a. Uh, uh, so we're gonna go reset. We're gonna make this a little bit smaller. Oh, make it a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna go transform, flip horizontal, and flip vertical. Boom. All right, so let me see if I can aim this a little bit up for you guys. Uh, why, why is this not flipped correctly? Okay, there we go. All right, so can you guys see everything? Can you guys see the uh, the screen more or less? Everything going well for you guys? We're gonna put my little seraphonite in my extra deck right here. Let me scoot this down. I'm gonna see you guys' chats. I just wanna be, make sure that I can see you guys' chats. Move this down. Actually, let me scoot this up just a little bit. All right, you guys should be able to see everything now. That should be good for the most part. Uh, we're going to move Baby Dragon Squad up here. The Baby Dragon Squad chat, that's what we're calling it, man. All right, 
Let's see. You guys should be able to see all this. Let me go on to YouTube here. Leo Stefano says hello. Uh, what's up to you, man? Welcome to the live stream. So, uh, yeah, there's 34 of you guys here. Hopefully, you can get some more people in the stream. Uh, but we are actually going to be uh, doing some test draws. So, let me exit out of Dueling Book real quick and make sure that I can see everything and that you guys can see everything, of course. I want to make sure that you guys are able to see everything so let's do a quick we're not going to do a crazy pile shuffle but this is a true draco zoo predaplant fusion slash brilliant fusion uh it was kaijus i don't think i have kaijus in here anymore because i moved them to the side although i really like them in the main uh true king slash variant it's, it's a really weird deck but uh we're gonna see what all the excitement is um Question, uh, Leo Stefano asks, question, I recently uh, bought a Gradle deck for $30. Was it a good deal? There's some gold rares in the deck. Uh, I don't really know what the market value is on Gradles, but a good way if you're trying to figure out if your cards uh, are worth value is going both on eBay and TCG Player and then comparing the cheapest buy it now value for mint condition cards of the cards that you bought uh, in whatever rarity you bought. And that is going to allow you to basically just pick whatever, you know, fi find if you if you got a good deal. So, uh, let's see, we're going to start off with a hand here. We're just going to assume every hand we're going first, uh, just to get the optimal amount of hand. And we're going to assume our opponents are champions and don't have uh, any hand traps. So, let's see here. We got a Dynamite Knuckle, which we never want to draw, which unfortunately we drew. Soul Charge, Barrage, Instant Fusion, and True Draco Heritage. This is not a bad hand at all. Um, the only issue is, is if they stop Barrage, uh, we're going to lose. But we're going to go Barrage... We're going to get ourselves a rat, a ratatouille as I call it. I'm going to bring him out in defense mode here. We're going to overlay for Borbo. Detach this guy to summon a rat. And we're going to overlay Borbo for Broadbull, detaching the Borbo. And we're going to get us a Lunalite Black Sheep, uh, and which is going to get us our Fusion Substitute. So we're going to discard Black Sheep to get Fusion Sub. And unfortunately, we aren't going to have another level 4 monster for uh, the, the full combo here, because we didn't draw another level 4 monster. And I don't really want to use... We could, I guess, theoretically, you could go Instant Fusion, bring back the Rat, and then, um, and then go like... Uh, What's his face? Go uh, like instant fusion after, or uh, instant fusion, keep the Norden in the grave, and then soul charge back everything, and then make Emerald. We could probably do that if we really wanted to. Or we could just do like the basic combo without doing any of these with sub, and basically just going Chakanine, overlaid on Broadbull, bring back Broadbull, sub these guys here, and then go Norden. This is like one variation. This is like assuming we're not using any of this, just for the record. This is like the most simple variant of this. And then this is gonna get back the rat. And then here, you would overlay for one of your guys, depending on whatever you're doing. Um, there's some cool combos you could do. Like, if you draw other level 4s, like, if you if you had a normal summon rat, you would send a Ram Ram or whatever other level 4 and then bring that back here. But the problem is we have the rat, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. Uh, cool thing you could have done. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to read you guys' chat as well. Uh, is this my deck for the June ban list? No, this is not past June ban list. I am not actually going to be showing that deck until that time. Um, but this is just one variant of it. So like here, there's actually a cool idea that I initially had where, um, you basically like, th this is one of the tribute aspects that I like being able to just go this and then just like tribute whatever monster you have off. Uh, so you still technically have your normal summon cause we haven't used our normal yet. Uh, but you could easily like overlay here for broad bowl and then search or whatever monster. Like for instance, let's just say we made broad bowl here, right? This is, this is kind of weird, but let's say we detach this, um, or you could actually, Instead of detaching this, you would detach the Norden first to search. Because you'd have that extra normal summon. And let's say we got ourselves a rat, or a ram ram rather. And then we'd go normal summon this, overlay here, make emerald, detach emerald, put back the rat. The black sheep and a broad bull. 
This is just like one potential way you could do it since we had opened up the barrage combo, by the way, just so you guys know. Uh, how did you get out Chakanine? I overlaid Chakanine on top of the Broad Bowl, and then I detached Broad Bowl to get back Broad Bowl. So we draw a card here. Okay, we drew Black Sheep again. So we would just go detach Black Sheep. Get out a rat after that from Guy, from Broad Bowl. So our board is currently this right here, right? So you guys should be able to see this. Uh, Steven Delaro, what card shops do I hang out at? Uh, I don't really go to card shops that often anymore. Uh, I didn't get out Chak and Nine for Fusion. Uh, I just simply overweight it. So when um, on my first turn, when uh, or the first play that I did, when I had this, I went Broad Bolt over this, right? Detached and searched. And then I made Chak and Nine on top of the Broad Bolt. Detach the Broad Bolt and summon back Broad Bolt. And then use those two. It's the standard. That, that was the standard combo, essentially. Like, that's like the basic play that you do. Um, just so you guys know, in case you didn't know that. Uh, but now we got our rat out since we detached our rat here. Then we're going to go sub to banish the fusion subs to put back Norden, right? We're going to draw a card. We drew a brilliant fusion. That's insane right there, man. And this is why I like brilliant fusion. Just opens up a whole new dimension to the deck. Like the fact that we still have soul charge, instant fusion, sub, and this is absurd. So let's see what we're going to do next. Um... Next, we're going to go sub again with Emerald and Broad Bull. Get back, Norden. This time, Norden is going to get out Ram Ram, right? We're going to get out Ram Ram there. Bring out Emerald. Detach Norden. We're going to put back Emerald. We're going to put back Rat. And we're going to put back Broad Bull. If, you have, if you're running three substitutes, you would obviously put back the Lunalite Black Sheep. I'm only using two here, so that's what you're going to end up doing. We're gonna draw a Taka Tomborg, which is absolutely okay with me. Next, we are going to overlay Rat for Rat Pier and detach the Rat Pier to summon Rat Pier that we just shuffled back. And we do that before we do substitute because we don't want to draw the Rat. Like, that's just a preventative measure that you do. And usually you want to end with Kong with like Tiger Mortar, but since we use Chakanine, we're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna banish our substitute. Bring back Norden into our extra, and then we're going to draw a card. We're going to draw a Geki, all right? So here, at this point, we have Hammer Kong, Rat, Emerald, and and actually, I totally lied. We are not doing that first. Uh, I totally lied. We, we are not supposed to do that first, and the reason we don't do that is because we have Brilliant Fusion, and we don't want to draw the Garnet. So we're going to go Brilliant first. I, I totally apologize. I totally left that out. Uh, we're going to go Seraph Knight here. And we don't want to lose a space on our board because we do. I do run Trick Clown in this deck. So we're going to bring Trick Clown out, take a thousand life points, and send Garnet. Then we're going to do uh, the substitute putting back Norden. We're going to draw a Ram Ram, which is fantastic there. All right, so we have this on board. So we have, we used our regular normal summon. We have an additional summon from Seraph Knight. And we have our true Draco Heritage. So now we really want to draw Diagram. Um, you have about 140 hours to do this combo legally, illegally, and it's time to move forward. <laughs> it's crazy, man. This is uh, this is wild. And Leo Stefano, how much money? Uh, this deck, how much money is it? Uh, it depends where you go. I mean, I had most of the stuff already, other than like the the diagrams and everything. But I, I have everything for the deck. Um, but anyway, so next, what are we gonna do here? So, uh, because we have emerald we need to get this emerald off the board and put it into the grave so we can start looping and drawing again so uh what we could potentially do here is we could either go heritage and tribute the emerald to summon out our dynamite guy uh to basically put him in grave and then make emerald here and then make mortar over this putting back the rat and then summoning the rat but that might not be the greatest play here because we still have instant fusion and soul charge and we have we want to also be able to shuffle back in our uh, Norden back into the extra deck uh, after we do soul charge on it. So we're gonna make uh, We're gonna make emerald here first. I think I think that is the correct play because we want to see what we're gonna draw first Or you could also make Dryden. Dryden usually like I've used Dryden to pop my own emerald That's something you could do if you really wanted to um, that's, that's probably not something I would do here, but let's say we just go true Draco heritage, right? Uh, after it resolves, we're going to use this and we're going to tribute uh, using this summon our Emerald. 
So he's unaffected by monster effects. Keep that in mind. We're going to go rat here. Shuffle back the rat here. The emerald. And probably the chacanine, I guess. We can do that. I'll put back the rat. And we really want to draw some more cards here. <laughs> Superbot119, bye chat. Uh, maybe you should change your deck into June format while on stream. Uh, I don't really want to change my deck onto the June format because I don't want to show people what I'm playing, especially if I end up going to Nationals. Um, hi, I'm Bernard. You said, wait, you have Maxi? That's okay, man. It's a one of. You're not going to have it. And if you do, I'll have a Ghost Dash for it. Duelist. <laughs> uh, we're going to draw. Oh, we drew Masterpiece, boys. Okay. It's actually just insane right now what we're about to do. I wish we had Diagram because if we had Diagram, we would also search the True King here. But we don't, so it's kind of a problem. No big deal, right? All right, now things get wild. We're going to go Tiger Mortar. Detach Tiger Mortar. Get back Rat as a material. Detach the Rat. Summon the Rat. By the way, guys, keep in mind, I still have Instant Fusion Soul Charge. Still have Instant Fusion Soul Charge. That's insane. And I have an additional Normal Summon from Seraph Knight. We might need to tribute some of our monsters instead of our spells, man. This is a this is a little bit of a problem for us, if you know what I mean. Um, actually, we'd be able to tribute this guy and get a free draw off of the true Draco Heritage. So that's something we're going to do. So, next. What do we do next here? We're going to go... I want to say we're going to go tribute Emerald. And... Huh. This is a tough one, because I really want to get the Emerald in the Grave without popping it, um, but I can pop it. So I, I'm probably going to get rid of this guy, tribute this guy, and I'm using the extra normal summon from Seraphonite. So we're going to tribute that and Brilliant Fusion, right? This is going to go to Grave, obviously, and we're going to summon Masterpiece here. We're going to activate True Draco Heritage. Uh, during your main phase, you can draw cards equal to the number of True Draco, True King monsters uh, sent to the Grave this turn. So we had one sent to the Grave. We're going to draw one card. Ghost Ogre, which is fine. <laughs> That's what we want. All right, next. Let's see what we're going to do here. We still have so many plays to do, guys. Keep in mind, we still have Dryden we can make. <laughs> That's the last play we're going to be making, obviously. Um, Let's see. We need to get some more draws, right? What we're going to do here is we're going to activate Masterpiece, Banishing Brilliant Fusion to pop Emerald. And we're going to go Instant Fusion on Norden. Use Norden to get back Trick Clown. Overlay Trick Clown and Norden. Four. Where is it? We can make Broad Bull over this first, right? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Wherever our Broad Bull is. I mean, we'd also make Chack Nine to bring something back and then make uh, Emerald off of that. Since we're hard summoning. That might not be as bad. But we're going to get Whiptail, actually. Yeah, that's definitely better. Because we don't want to take up too much space. We're going to overlay this here. Detach this. We're going to get Whiptail to our hand. Alright, next. Next, next, next. We're going to go Overlay Broad Bowl. Uh, detach for Dryden to pop our Tiger Mortar. And then we're going to activate Soul Charge. Soul Charge is going to get us back Norden. We're going to go Norden Effect. Bring back a... What do I want to bring back here? I could bring back this guy. Knuckle isn't that great here just because... Uh, just because we, we won't be able to get its effect. Um, I'm pretty sure we can bring out Seraph Knight with it. Because he was summoned successfully. 
And we can just keep him for next turn. But that's probably not that ideal. We want to have a four on the field. Huh. Okay, we're going to get out a, a monster here. We're going to get out... Uh, we're going to get out a rat, actually, I think. I think that seems about right. No, 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 no. We do have to get another level four because this is going to be... Uh, because this is we already, we already overlaid for everything, so this has to be another broad bowl. And we need emerald first, huh? What's the best way to do this? Hmm. This is a tough one. What do you guys think here? What do I think of players running three dryad and three broad bowl and two check uh, for the mirrors? I think it's good for. Uh, I think it's good for the pure version. Uh, Alessandro DeGraffi, can you swap the cameras so the cards don't look autistic? Well, I mean, this is the best I can do, dude. Um, <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. What, uh... Oh, I think the camera... It's backwards. I am so sorry. That's how it's supposed to look. I don't know. You guys were watching my screen and you guys didn't tell me that it wasn't flipped? <laughs> yeah, I think bring back Ram Ram here is correct. I don't know what I was thinking. The problem is we already overlaid all our monsters, so we need to make Broadbolt and Emerald. I don't know if there's any way we can make Broadbolt and Emerald here. I don't know, guys. This is a tough one. Yeah, there's there's nothing feasible, I think, about this. Because, like, if we make Emerald... Ram Ram with the Nor- You're thinking make Emerald with the Rat and the Norden? The problem is I want to shuffle back Norden in case I draw another instant fusion down the line, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. Because I don't get any value out of my Rat if there's just, like, if I can't even use it. So I think... I think it might be better in this case to overlay... Yeah, I think keeping it as a floater, you might be right on that. I don't like this play that much, but... It's what we have. No, what are we talking about? We uh, we can go chalk and if we go chalk and nine first, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we go chalk and nine first, detach this. Oh, we already used our thing, so we're not gonna be able to do that. I was gonna say we could use uh one of these two guys to pop, but we already used their effects. I was gonna say we could bring back whatever, uh, make emerald with that, shuffle back the rat, and then you know get our extra effect. But that's not gonna work. So we're not making chalk and nine here. Yeah, we're just gonna make emerald. And we're going to shuffle back our stuff. So we're going to detach our Norden. We're going to leave this rat under here. And we're going to shuffle back Emerald, Rat, and probably Norden. I think that'd be ideal. Yeah, Emerald, Rat, Norden. Mind you, this is not even the best possible opening or play that we could do, just so you guys know. This is like one of the worst openings, even though we had Soul Charge. Um, because you don't get as much value off the Soul Charge. It's usually better if, like, as a follow-up if your opponent does something. Uh, Ash Blossom is going to be, like, 50 soon. I don't know, man. It's crazy. I can revive uh, Emerald, revive Garnet. I thought about that, but the thing is, I won't have a rat on the field, will I? Wait. If I do that... um, But no, I need to use Emerald to put back stuff, not to revive... That's what you're not understanding. Like, yeah, I need to uh, draw. Okay, we drew diagram. This game is just unreal. This game just got, went to insanity right here. And we have double Ram Ram. Okay, now you guys can see some of the other stuff we can do. So, we're going to activate diagram here. We're going to use diagram's effect. Pop Ram Ram, right? Ram Ram effect. Uh, we're going to use. He, the diagram is going to get us a true king. Lithosagium, the disaster. Now you guys can see some of the wild stuff. Usually when you draw a diagram, it makes things so much easier right off the bat. Or if you have like invoker plays because you, you end with a clearer board. Um, but the only issue is now we're not going to be able to bring out rat stuff here just because we have emerald, which kind of sucks, but it's no big deal. So we're going to add this ram ram effect. Uh, what do we want to get back? Ooh, why did I do that? Because we're only going to have... Oh, actually, it doesn't matter because we're going to pop one of these guys anyways. 
So next we're gonna go Litho Sajam the Disaster. Pop him and pop Ram Ram to summon him. We're gonna send stuff from our opponent's extra deck to the graveyard or banished or whatever. Ram Ram effect is gonna summon something back. And we're probably gonna summon back Hammer Kong. So our ending board is gonna be this. And during our opponent's turn, we can equip Whiptail underneath Hammer Kong if we wanted to, or Dryden. We can save it for the Dryden. And we have a barrage in the graveyard for our masterpiece, and our masterpiece is unaffected by spells and monsters, and we have a ghost ogre on the field. That is one turn. This is semi-average, mind you guys. This is an average board for me. This is usually I'll end with a similar board to this. Except I'll also have like three or four other cards in hand, usually being hand traps. And we drew the Taka Tomborg. So, and, and mind you, you guys can't see this, but we have a diagram active. So our masterpiece is, it, it can't be protected by it, but if they happen to like do some crazy thing uh, that like makes it this unaffected again by monsters and spells, like unaffected by un being unaffected by monster spells and or monsters and spells, then diagram would be able to give it a boost. Uh, our true king, Lithosagem, the disaster, he's actually going to be at 2800. This is one simple board. Uh, Earth, True King, and Draco Zoo. See, a lot of people aren't running this. This, right now, I don't know why True uh, true Zoo uh, decks are not playing this as a one-of with multiple Ram Rams. Guys, you can literally search this and just auto-win the mirror just by playing this. You, you get rid of their Invoker, get rid of their Norden, and get rid of one Emerald or whatever else you need to get rid of, like a Tiger Mortar. I usually do Tiger Mortar or Emerald, depending on what uh, what they have. And that's how you can win. This is one turn, and you guys just saw that. Um, let's see. We'll we'll do another one here. We'll see. We'll see another hand, mind you. This was no Terra Top and no Preta Plants required to do this. None at all. So you guys can get an idea of how wild some of these plays are. And this is sixty cards. Keep that in mind, guys. This is sixty cards. Let's do another one here. Actually, let me. Scoot over the camera just a little bit, just so you guys can see more stuff. Uh, let's see. Let me put that right there. Just because it was a little up. Oh. Okay, there we go. So you guys can see everything. Because a lot of people don't actually run that, and uh, I, I just don't understand why they weren't playing the true the true king guy. It just doesn't make sense to me. Everything in your deck is practically earth, and then in addition to that. You have Ram Rams. You can trigger your Ram Rams. You can bring Ram Ram back with Chakanine and then have another free monster to pop. Like, literally, true the Lithosagem guy, you can end with a, a Dryden Lithosagem and hitting your opponent's extra deck just by having him in your deck and having Ram Ram and, or Rat, whichever, or both. So, it's absolutely absurd. That's fine. Tri tribute, make Masterpiece. It doesn't matter. Like, the board, like, you, you've just gotten so far ahead that it just doesn't matter. I can use Lithosagem to bring back other stuff. I can get other stuff. I have Diagram active. I have Ghost Ogre for whatever enabler play you have. It just doesn't matter here. Um, all right, let's see, we got another hand. This one's a little bit similar to the last one, kind of, not really. Uh, we have Rat Barrage, Heritage, Retaliating C, and Ghost Ash for that Max C that you guys always draw. So it's pretty wild. We're gonna put these to the side. Retaliating C is actually relevant because we can normal summon it and pop it. Um, <laughs> I know that seems strange, but that is a play that you can do. Uh, because if it's sent from the field to the grave, you get to add an insect monster, so I can add a max C to my hand. So, uh, you could either do the normal play where you normal summon this, and then once you normal summon it, you get to send Ram Ram or whatever to the grave, and then do your loop. Or, what's cool about this hand is you can go barrage, tribute the barrage, get a thoroughblade, right? So, we get thoroughblade here. Uh, discard the rat, draw card. Actually, uh, my bad. We are actually not going to be popping the barrage. We're going to normal summon. We can normal summon this if we wanted to. We're going to pop this and keep the barrage on the field. Uh, but that's going to be the same play. So our retaliating C is also going to get us a search. So our retaliating C is going to get us a max C, wherever that is. And this is just, I'm just trying this out. I probably wouldn't do this in a real tournament if I was going first and not knowing what I was playing against. Um, but since I have Ghost Dash, I don't really worry about max C here. Flying C, do it, man. Flying C, me duelist. Oh my god, we love drawing that Takatomborg. <laughs> uh, 
So we're gonna go overlay here, detach rat. Rat is gonna get us another rat. Next we go broad bull uh, to search uh, black sheep and then chalk a nine over broad bull, get back broad bull. So our hand is gonna be this, we're gonna get this later on, and black sheep, wherever black sheep is. And now with this hand, we're kind of just trying to draw cards because of the heritage. What's cool about this is like once you make Emerald, you're going to be able to uh, summon the Talk of Tombork and potentially use it as tribute fodder if that ever comes up. Um, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does, it just varies. Substitute. Get Nord in here. What's cool about this play is you can actually bring back Retaliating C and you can use his effect more than once per turn if you pop this. So like if I go uh, bring back Retaliating C, overlay for Broad Bull, make Dryden, pop the Retaliating C, I can search a Flying C or I can leave this on the field. So you'll have Flying C and Max C, which is really, really cool. Um, that's an interaction a lot of people don't know. Um, in this case, I probably wouldn't do that um, just because I, I want to summon back other stuff uh, since we're going to be overlaying here for uh, Emerald. This is going to make Emerald. Emerald is going to put Detach Nord in. Put back Black Sheep, Rat, and we can put back Mortar, we can put back Jack Nine, we can put back whatever else we want. We can put back Retaliating C if we want. I'd probably put back the Mortar, just because that's pretty valuable in my opinion, since I'm only running one in this particular deck. Uh, Nightbot is a hypocrite. Uh, Gamma Seal, the Divergenity Destroying Kaiju Terminated. <laughs> that's pretty funny, man. <laughs> They'll always be drawing Max C, so... Well, I mean, it's okay, I have... I have Ash Blossom for Max C in this hand, so it doesn't really matter here. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to draw a card. We drew the Garnet. No, guys, we drew Garnet. No. <laughs> we drew Taka Tomborg and Garnet in a 60-card deck. Are you kidding me? Oh, my. Now you guys know why I can't do well at Yu-Gi-Oh! events anymore. I am always unlucky. Inch 95 forever unlucky. Confirmed, guys. So we're gonna go Hammer Kong, get out Rat here. Forever unlucky, that is insane, guys. Next, we're gonna do Fusion Substitute, put back Norden to draw a card. Whip Tail, actually, did I do that incorrectly? Oh yeah, uh, I might have done that incorrectly, I wasn't paying attention, actually. <laughs> Uh, I mean, theoretically, we could summon this back here, but our hand really, really sucks right now. So, next, we're just going to go overlay this for Dryden. And then we can pass, and then on our opponent's turn, we can equip Whiptail to Hammer Kong. So, not during our turn, because otherwise, it'll get a. It'll get, uh, it'll detach the material. I mean, you could always keep the webtail for the Dryden if you really wanted to and just put the Dryden in attack mode, but they already know you have it most. Oh, actually, no, they didn't. In that case, they wouldn't know. But I would probably also set the True Draco Heritage because if they go, like, do some kind of play and then they, like, try and pop this, then you can pop a spell or trap that they potentially have. So I'd probably set this card, believe it or not, and then just uh, keep these in hand. But we still have Ash Blossom Maxi. This is still a t difficult board to clear when you have cards like these in your hand. Um, unless they have Ghost Ash. If they have Ghost Ash for your Maxi, then they're just really, really good. But we drew Garnet Taka Tomborg, and that is not very good in a 60-card deck last I checked. Um, ice Barriers make you lucky, and you will get girl grills. I don't know, man. Ice Barriers don't seem very good. <laughs> uh, Taka Tomborg, most loyal card in the game. Definitely true. Team Demise Bradley said it's the most loyal card in the game. It is, man. It is the most loyal card ever. By the way, if you guys are watching this, I'd very much appreciate if you guys subscribe. If you guys are new to the stream, if you guys donate five bucks, you guys get to pick the next topic of discussion. Uh, keep that in mind. We got one super chat already from Master King Swag. Uh, pretty exciting. Uh, let's make sure. And for some reason, my uh, my little donation thing isn't updating. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to check that because. It's being weird. <laughs> I just don't know why. Donation goal should be updating. 
what non-cancer deck is this? It's a uh, it's a wild deck, man. It's a wild deck. Uh, stream da 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 da. Huh. I don't know why it's not uh why it's not actually showing it. It should show uh, Master King Swag's five dollar donation, but I'll fix that later if it doesn't appear. Uh, then we'll figure something out, but, uh, yeah, it should appear, that's the only thing, I mean, we, we're only, I can repeat it so you guys can see it, but, yeah, that's the only thing I can do, for some reason it's, uh, I don't know why, I, oh, I lied, it's, uh, my alert box should be on top of everything, so, if I repeat it, that's what it looks like. So if you guys end up funding five bucks, then you guys get to have Master King swag just like that. You guys get to look like him, be part of the official Baby Dragon sponsor squad, Super Chat squad. And you guys potentially help me get to a new event. Or another event, rather. <laughs> so, we're going to do another hand here. Brilliant, Ram Ram, Terraforming, Tenki, and Whiptail. Not a bad hand at all. This is a very, very strong hand. Uh, we have basically everything going for us. Uh, we're probably we would probably do that first, just on the off chance they had a hand trap. Um, let's just say hypothetically they didn't, because um, typically you want to bait out your other stuff with that. So we're gonna go ten key here. Ten key is gonna get us a rat, and we're gonna summon our rat. And you already have a four in your hand, and we have brilliant fusions. So we can extra normal summon, so it doesn't matter. So we're actually gonna send Zodiac combo here um, instead of anything else. We're going to go Borbo, and we're going to go uh, him detaching this. So we're going to get Black Sheep and this, and we're going to summon a rat here, wherever our other rat is. Our little ratatouille. Our little ratata. If you guys know what I'm saying. Next, we're going to go Brilliant, summoning Seraph Knight. And then we're going to get out Garnet into the grave and Trick Clown. We're going to take a thousand life points here for summoning Trick Clown. We're going to overlay Trick Clown and that for an Emerald. And then we are going to detach the rat, putting back the rat, the black sheep, and we're also going to put back our Borbo. Flying C, you lose. Nah, man. They never have Flying C. And even if they have Flying C, you do realize I have Diagram, right? I would not use this yet. Instead of, uh, I haven't used Diagram. I haven't popped anything. So Flying C me, I can just use Diagram to pop your Flying C. You know that, right? <laughs> That's why I'm saying Flying C isn't as good against this deck. We drew Taka Tomborg again. Okay, this is, uh, how many times are we going to draw Taka Tomborg? Guys. That's the third game in a row we drew Taka Tomborg, especially off of Emerald. This is ridiculous. Whatever. This is not cool. This is not cool at all. Like, this is actually very irritating. We're gonna go Fusion Substitute on these guys, on Emerald and Broad Bull. Gonna get out Norden. Norden is gonna summon back our rat. Rat overlay here for our other Broad Bull. And we're gonna get two searches. Or a search pl uh, for our substitute off of Black Sheep, and we're going to summon Rat. Guys, that is unreal how many times I've drawn Taka Tomborg. <laughs> uh, we're going to get this, and we're going to summon Rat. And hopefully we can use Diagram at the end, because we have a Ram Ram in our hand to search either for a Masterpiece when we summon again, or we can get a True King. But we're just trying to draw, and then we're going to do that play last, if you guys know what I mean. Next, we are going to go overlay for Zishaka 9, wherever she is, Chak 9, bring that out, we're going to go Fusion Substitute, put back Norden, draw a card, oops, draw a card, we're going to draw Cobra, and we drew our dead Cobra, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this actually, theoretically, this isn't bad, actually, because we could, we still have our extra normal summon, 
if we could get out a emerald here before we did this we would normal summon this and then special summon the Takatomborg and then make invoker since we had the other sub but we drew the one cobra two cards that we don't want to draw guys garnet cobra and Takatomborg. you're always going to draw at least two of it in a 60 card deck confirmed absolutely just ridiculous just ridiculous oh well we're gonna go fusion substitute putting these guys away getting out norden we're gonna use norden effect summoning back trick clown trick clown overlay with him for an emerald emerald detach norden we're gonna put back our emerald rat and broad bowl We're gonna draw a card. We're gonna draw Thoroughblade. That kind of sucks. Um, all right, so we've made everything but Hammer Kong uh, and Dryden't, I believe, at this point. Yes. So we still have an extra normal summon if we want to for Seraph Knight, um, and we did use our regular normal summon on the Tenki Rat. So we're gonna go overlay here, detach. We're gonna get a rat. Uh, 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 uh. You guys are going to like this, I promise. I wish we could have drawn a masterpiece so we didn't have to search the light, though, Sajim. Um, but that's not going to happen. We're going to go Fusion Substitute, put back Norden, draw a card. Max C, ladies and gentlemen, our one hand trap. The trusty Max C. All right, next. What are we going to do here, guys? Let's see, let's see, let's see. What can we do? I mean, theoretically, we could just normal summon and then do whatever else, but we are going to... I wish we could make Emerald one last time by popping Emerald if we do that, but we're not going to be able to get anything else out. So, we're going to activate Diagram, popping our Ram Ram. That is going to get us a Masterpiece. And now that we got out Masterpiece... We can also actually some special out Taka Tomborg for this and use Taka Tomborg to tribute for Masterpiece, but we're not going to do that here um, because we're going to use Ram Ram to summon back Rat, overlay these two, and we can either make an Emerald, which is probably what I'm most likely going to do. We're going to make Emerald, and then we're going to use our extra normal summon, tributing our Emerald. We're going to put this Emerald here because it's pretty. Tributing our Emerald, and... Probably the Brilliant Fusion to make it immune to spells. That's what I would normally consider doing. But then we like we get an extra material for a thing, but we lose our Seraph Knight. So I would probably say we're going to tribute the Brilliant Fusion as well here, um, unfortunately. And the reason like we could tribute and then just pop, but we lose an extra monster. It's fine just because we're going to get and we want extra value off of the Emerald. So uh, where was I? We are going to go Emerald here. Detach. Put back the Emerald, the Rat, and we are going to be putting back either Broadbull or Chak and Nine. Uh, I'm probably going to say put back Chak Nine here in this case. Yeah, we're going to put back Chak Nine here. So we get an extra draw and we're going to end with the Dryden't. Oh my god, if we draw a True King Lithos Asham here, we're, we're just like... The champions or another diagram way to get diagram ah oh, we drew the scorpio that really blows well that's okay we can still end with our dryden't emerald masterpiece and we have maxi in hand as well as whiptail right here under this once we once they do their turn obviously so and we have zodiac combo in the graveyard to shuffle back everything else if we happen to lose some of our resources and we have an F diagram if, you know, we could have easily distributed two monsters and kept his boost. That's something you could also do. Um, so instead, if we wanted to keep the boost, what, what, our board would end up being, um, our board would end up being Seraphonite. We would tribute the Taka Tombor because we'd special it under the first Emerald. And we would still have Brilliant Fusion. So we could end like this. Um, or, uh, or we could just 
do the other play. We could either end like this and have him be boosted and just be immune to monsters, or if we tribute the Brilliant Fusion along with it, so we can also help him be immune to spells. Um, I think it's probably better to have him be immune to spells, so then if they like regek your Dark Hole, um, because like the, the second normal summon isn't as valuable here because we just don't have anything else that we really want an extra normal summon next turn. If they're clearing our board, then it just doesn't matter. Um, and then we're going to do one more test draw hand, and then we're going to go back to doing our regular scheduled stream, fellas. I'm going to play a quick ad, and uh, yeah, shuffle up. We were never not drawing bad one ofs. It's true, man. It's definitely true. I'm also going to be live streaming most likely this Friday, guys, for a little bit, if you guys are interested in that. Uh, just so you guys know. Let's see here. What are you guys saying in the chat? You, uh, failure artist. What's up, man? You said you use starter deck zero. It's true, man. This is basically you use starter deck zero. All right, flying C. Talk at Tomborg again. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, that's okay. That's okay, guys. We can we can do this. All right, we're going to go summon Scorpio, discarding Takatomborg, of course. And that's going to get us our Cobra, if I can find it. Where is it? Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. Cobra, there it is. So we get Cobra, Cobra effect. Now what's cool is Cobra can search Instant Fusion or Brilliant. It's usually better to search Instant Fusion when you have a hand like this, but I like Brilliant Fusion just because it gives you the additional play um, instead of just doing Instant Fusion flat out. So we're going to get Brilliant here. And then this is going to make an Invoker, and Invoker is going to summon Rat, Rat Detach. And we're going to get us a uh, Fusion Sub as well as another Rat on the board. And the little Black Sheep is going to go to the Grave. So basic oh and this is detached so our board is going to look like this and we're going to have a broad bull in or a borbo in the graveyard and we're going to have a seraph knight now because we're going to activate our brilliant fusion uh, actually i don't think we're going to activate brilliant fusion here because we want to have the extra space for everything because uh, we're going to have no no we are going to do it yeah yeah because uh we're going to go Trick Clown uh, and Garnet. Trick Clown and Garnet. Because now we can make Emerald that way. Let's see, guys. What are we doing? What do we got here? All right, we're going to overlay these two. Emerald. Detach the rat. Shuffle back rat. Black Sheep. And we are actually going to be shuffling back... The talk at Tomborg in case we draw a speed raid terra top. Normally I'd shuffle back Borbo, but it doesn't really matter in this case. We drew a dynamite knuckle. Not bad at all. Not bad. Next, we're gonna go fusion substitute on the emerald as well as the broad bull. Summon Norden. Norden effect, get out rat, overlay rat and Norden uh, after you make guy, because here we're actually going to do this. We're going to go uh, uh, Hammer Kong first, detach. And then we're going to overlay these two. Actually, what am I doing? That is not what we're doing. <laughs> Where's uh, where's Broad Bull? <laughs> That's what we were doing. My bad. So this is gonna get this, and then we're gonna get Black Sheep and Fusion Substitute. I usually like doing it the other way, but it's fine like this. We're gonna activate Substitute, put back Nord in, draw a Thoroughblade, which we wanted in the deck for that Zodiac Barrage, but that's okay. Uh, what's cool about this now is in between plays, you usually aren't able to make, um, you aren't usually able to make, uh, Emerald again here, but we're going to do that. We're going to go Barrage, 
pop itself, put the material under the broad bowl. We're going to summon Ram Ram. This is going to make Emerald. Emerald, detach the rat, shuffle back rat, Emerald, and Broad Bowl. If I had three fusion substitutes in this deck, man, this would be absolutely bananas. Let's see. Yeah, we're just uh, testing over here, man. What's up to YGO Bros, Link the Dark? What's up, man? Shout out to you guys joining the live stream. Uh, we're going to draw a card. We're going to draw Talk at Tomborg again. Fuck this Talk at Tomborg, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to curse. I hate this Talk at Tomborg, man. I've drawn it. We're, we're drawing a new card. Screw that Talk at Tomborg, man. Okay, we drew Speed Ride Teratop. Whew. Not, not good either. <laughs> and we still have an extra normal summon, by the way, guys. Keep that in mind. Now we go Fusion Substitute on Invoker and Emerald. And that's important that you do it on the Invoker here. Because we're going to put back the Invoker now. Get Emerald. Mind you, we haven't done Mortar yet either. So, uh, is there a rat in deck? Yes, there is a rat in deck. Oh no, this is, uh, yeah. This is the part where we go Kong. Get Rat. Overlay these two. This might not be the best, actually, now that I think about it. Huh. There's a couple ways I'm thinking about doing this, because I'm also going to bring out Teratop here. So, it's kind of weird. We could go Chak9. Detach the Norden for her. Summon back Ram Ram, right? We could do that, and then we could go overlay this for Dryden, pop this. And then we go, we have to get Emerald out first, so we're not going to do this. So we're going to make Emerald here, right off the bat. I wanted to loop the rat one more time, but it's just not going to happen. Maybe, actually. I don't know. We'll see. Cause we Oh, we still have Tiger Mortar. What am I talking about? We can still loop it. Um, we're going to put back Rat, this, and the Emerald. Can I do a Perform Pal deck profile? I probably will. I probably do have one. Okay, I drew another Ghost Ogre. That's okay. We're going to go... Um, we could actually not do Sub here first. Uh, we have a, su a normal summon, so we could go Teratop for our extra normal summon. Get Takatomborg. Wherever our Takatomborg is. And then we overlay these guys. For an Invoker, again. <laughs> Invoker here. We're going to use that. And we can get out a Whiptail or a Ram Ram. Uh, if I, I wish I had Thoroughblade in the deck, personally. We're going to get out Whiptail here. Oh, no, we can't. We have five spaces. Guys, what are we doing? What am I doing? I didn't even realize this was over here, the Seraph Knight still. I need six spaces to make this these combos work, man. These are all I am gonna just concede this one because this this combo I'd have I wanna go I'd have to go back and I, I don't wanna do that. Yeah, we're we're not gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, I can't do that. Uh I I am just gonna start a new hand just because there's so many crazy combos we could do with that. We still have uh Chak and I in play, we still have another emerald. I was gonna go Dryden, pop the emerald, make emerald again, and then get an extra normal summon. So we could have done that. It depends what we would have drawn, but uh, you guys can see it gets pretty crazy. Um, we're going to do another hand here. Please, no Garnet, no Taka Tomborg, no Cobra. That's all we want. And like, we don't want those cards in hand. No Cobra, 
no Garnet, and no Taka Tomborg. That's all, that's all I'm asking for, guys. Nothing else. Don't care about anything else. And Zodiac combo, which is something I didn't want. Oh, we lose this game, basically, going first. Most likely. Yep, we lost. We, we don't have a way to play. Brilliant Fusion, Heritage, Combo, Flying Sea, and Joyous Spring. See? This is my life right here. No enablers. No enablers. Eh, Whiptail would have done it. If we would have drawn Whiptail, we would have had it. Um, that combo ruined it. Okay, that's another card we don't want to draw. We're just going to draw another hand. Okay, this hand is definitely solid. This is a really good hand here. Wait, Terraforming is going to get us our Diagram. Uh, barrage is going to get us our Rat. Our rat -ta -ta -ta. Now we're just going to end up with a simple play right here. This is going to end up in D. And this is going to go to Grave. And then we're going to have Black Sheep in Grave. And we're going to have Rat in Grave. And we're going to have Fusion Substitute on our hand. Next, we're going to go Normal Summon Ram Ram, Overlay with the Rat for Emerald. Put the Rat back, Emerald, and the Borbo. Draw a card with your Masterpiece. Oh! Oh! Guys, this is delicious. Delicious! We're going to make Nord in here. Norden is going to get back our Rat. Overlay these two for Broadbull. Broadbull is going to use both effects. Delicious, 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 delicious. We're going to get our rat. Black Sheep's going to grave, and we're going to get Substitute to our hand. Then we're going to activate Substitute from the graveyard. Putting Norden back into our extra deck, drawing a card, getting Tocket. Tocket Tombor! Guys, what is. This card, this card, I'm glad I don't have to play it past June anymore. I'm just, oh, god damn, man. Unreal. Oh, all right, now we're going to have to go Instant Fusion here. Get out Norden. Uh, he's going to get out Ram Ram. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Because I want to pop the Ram Ram with the uh, with the diagram. Oh, okay. You know what we're going to do? Because we still have Norden. We're going to go Emerald here. Detach the Norden. Shuffle back the Norden. The Rat and the Emerald. That's what we're doing. There we go, guys. I knew I had it. <laughs> I knew I had it. Draw a Speedroid Tear Top. Pretty cool. I don't remember. I think we normal summoned the uh, the Ram Ram already, right? Did we? No. Did we? Yeah, we did. We normal summoned that. Okay, next. Next, next, next. We're going to go overlay for Kong here. King Kong. Detach the rat. To get a rat. Fusion substitute on Emerald. And the Broad Bowl. Or you could do it on the Kong. Probably doesn't really matter. I'd probably do it on the Broad Bowl. Get Norden out. Norden's going to get out your Ram Ram. Right? Then, we're going to go overlay these two for an Emerald. Emerald's going to put back the Rat, the Emerald, and the Broad Bowl. And it's still good because we have Lithosagem, the Disaster, and Masterpiece here. Which is pretty insane, guys, because we're going to get the true Draco spell. Draw a Regeki. Pretty good. Uh, where's that other substitute at? 
I could have swore I played another fusion substitute. What the heck? How's Nord in here? What did I just do? Can you guys rewind me back? Because I know I was supposed to have another fusion substitute in my hand. With the black sheep and everything. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? I'm not supposed to put back the uh, broad bull. I'm supposed to put back black sheep. I think. No, no, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's fine. Because we're just going to do it next. I think. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. What did I just do? I, was, I looked up at the chat for like a second and I lost my train of thought. Oh, pff, it's on my field. Guys, it was right there. I'm so, see, that's 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 why I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Thank you for pointing that out, guys. Next, we are going uh, mortar here. We're going to go mortar. Overlay it over the rat. Detach the rat. Uh, getting out a rat. This is where it gets really, really cool. Thank you for helping me notice that. It was literally dead in front of me, and I didn't put it in the grave, and I wasn't noticing it. <laughs> Thanks for telling me, guys. I wouldn't... See, that. that's where the baby dragon squad is clutch. We're going to detach, or uh, banish that. Put back Norden. Draw a card. Draw a Thoroughblade, which we didn't want to draw. All right, guys, this is where things get really, really interesting. I wanted to pop the Ram Ram because I wanted to get back a... Because uh, we have to go Chalk Nine, right? What if I go Diagram here, pop the Emerald, right? What if I do that? Get Heritage... Seems about right. We go, don't activate this yet. We have to summon this first, I think, right? Next we go check nine. Detach this to summon out Ram Ram. Then we go true king popping ram ram i almost want to pop the thoroughblade but that's not going to be happening and the hammer kong for light though sandwich. i'm hit their extra deck ram ram effect get out a rat overlay with rat here get out emerald detach put back this this and this And here we're also going to have another option to either choose to draw a card or choose to have our masterpiece uh, unaffected by only monsters. So this is one of those like optional situations here. We're going to draw a trick clown. Not the best, but that's okay. So here what we can do is either we can go activate heritage, use this effect uh, after we summon a uh, like a, like a terra top or whatever, or a talk of board. If we use that to tribute off uh, Taka Tomborg in itself for this, and then just put Dryden on top of this, so we end with Masterpiece, Dryden, Lithosanagem, and Emerald. Or what we can do is if we go, um, instead of tributing this, we can go summon the Terra Top, right? Tribute the Lithosanagem and tribute the Taka Tomborg, and then summon Masterpiece. So he's only affected by monsters, but he'll get the boost for Diagram. But now you can use Heritage to draw a card for Lithosagem. And you'll have, in this case, you'll have a Whiptail. I think it's probably better to have an extra Beater on the field, even though, like, your opponent wrecks you with Dark Hole, right, Geki? That's just my opinion. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe you guys have a different opinion. But I think this is just better here, tributing these two. And then here, you'll just end with uh, a Dryden on the field, wherever our Dryden is. So you'll have Dryden, Lithosagem, Emerald, and Masterpiece unaffected, unaffected by monsters and spells. And this is your graveyard. Unfortunately, we didn't draw any hand traps, which kind of sucked. But this would be a pretty average board. Like I said, these boards are all average. My best boards, um, if I wasn't drawing like Terra or Taka Town board and drawing all this other stuff, would be way, way better. Um, I'm just having a little bit of bad luck. But 
if these are my bad boards with this deck and you guys are seeing me do it even with the worst hands consistently that's got to show you guys man that uh i think this deck is legitimate like even right now like these sp these plays are very spicy like i i Huega, like i'm telling you man these plays are absolutely spicy um yeah last time uh <laughs> what's up kinkuo this is uh you said last time you played it was five d's yeah man there's a uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on dude there's a uh, that's Yu-Gi-Oh for you. There's a lot of crazy stuff. And keep in mind, guys, we are live on Twitch and on YouTube. So if you guys are on Twitch or YouTube, both of them are playing. I'm um, very excited to be able to stream on both for you guys. You guys can see your chats. I'm actually doing a lot of stuff. If you guys want to donate, I would very, very much appreciate it. Uh, it helps the channel grow, and I put that stuff towards equipment. I know I've been saying that a lot, but I know there's some people that just joined. Uh, we just got earlier a $5 donation, the first one I've ever gotten. So I very much appreciate it. If you're on YouTube, you can super chat. Or if you're on Twitch and you want to contribute, you guys can pick the topic of discussion. I'll probably I'll probably put like a, a little thing at the bottom so you guys know that you, you guys get recognition for that. I'll probably add that in the near future. So yeah, this hand, pretty good. I think so too. Instant Fusion, Barrage, Soul Charge, Trick Clown, and Joyous Spring, Ash Blossom. So if they have Maxi, you can just hit that. Uh, this is a cool hand. Um, I think it's interesting because you can go... Uh, trick clown and then you could go like barrage pop the trick clown summon back the trick clown uh, or you could just put this in the grave <laughs> either or it doesn't really matter um, so what we're gonna do here standard plays guys standard 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 plays we're gonna go rat rats gonna get rat black sheep and our fusion substitute wherever it is and we're gonna have a broad bull on the field and we're gonna have a borbo in the grave summon trick clown overlay with these make emerald emerald detach rat pier put back rat pier black sheep and borbo draw a card we're gonna draw flying c next we are going to go fusion substitute most likely on broad bull and emerald the trick clown is going to come back for a thousand gonna get out the norden norden's gonna get out the rat now here we're gonna overlay for king kong whoever king kong is himself king kong detach the rat summon the rat uh next we're gonna go overlay these two guys here i believe that's correct right is that right is that what i want to do that is what i want to do uh where is it where is it where's the broad bull broad bull detach norden so it's black sheep and fusion substitute and substitute there it is we're gonna activate the fusion substitute from the graveyard. Putting back Norden, banishing this, drawing a terraforming, activating terraforming to get this. Uh, I'd probably wanna keep the Broad Bowl here now at this point, just because, um, just because uh, it has an extra material underneath it. So I think here, what I might do is I'd go instant fusion first. Which doesn't seem that great, I think, but it's okay. It's not the worst thing that you could do. Um, then we'd go overlay this and this for Emerald. Emerald's gonna detach Norden. Put back Norden, Emerald, and Broad Bull. So, three extra deck cards, so we just draw a card. We do Joyous Springs. Then we'll do this on the Kong and the Emerald. Get out Norden, Norden effect. Get out Rat. Overlay for Emerald. Detach the Rat. Put back Emerald, Rat, and Hammer Kong. Drawing a Predaplant Orphis Scorpio. 
And we did normal summon. We summon the Trick Clown. Next, we're going to go Diagram, I believe. Popping our Emerald. And that is going to get us a True King Lithosagem. It might have been better actually if I popped the Broad Bull, now that I think about it. Wait, is Black Sheep Earth? No, she's dark. Damn. It might be better actually if I don't pop the Emerald here and I pop the Broad Bull because I'll have a Trick Clown I can bring back. Yeah, that might be better actually. I'll just have to Emerald my own, or uh, Dried it my own monster. So we're actually going to pop this instead. Uh, to get Lithosagem. Next, we're going to go... Soul Charge, getting back... What did I detach for this? The rat? Getting back both of these. These two overlay. For Broad Bull. Broad Bull detached the... Uh, rat... Get out a rat from deck. And then detach the trick clown to get a ram ram out. That's the crack play, guys. I knew we had it. I had faith in you guys. So we get this, right? Now, all we have to do is pop a ram ram and one of these other earth guys boom boom get out lithosagem lithosagem is going to let us uh get rid of our opponent's extra deck get out this overlay these two for an emerald this isn't that great but it's some it's a viable play it's just something we can do um I think we already used Tiger Mortar, right? If I'm not mistaken. No, we're not using Tiger Mortar. So we're going to go Overlay Chacanine. Uh, then we're not going to use her effect. We're going to make uh, Dryden. Dryden Detach Chacanine to pop our first Emerald. And then we are going to go uh, draw a card with instant fusion draw the dead cobra naturally detach rat put back uh, check nine rat and emerald I don't know if this is actually the correct line of play we probably could have done more now that I think about it let me draw a card we drew the instant fusion so we're able to use Norden again. Not this turn, obviously, but hypothetically. And we ended with three hand traps, double ghost dash, flying C, and these guys for next turn, potentially. The Cobra's dead, but theoretically, we could always just pop it with Diagram, Emerald it back, and then just summon Orf uh, Scorpio Orphis, or or Orphis Scorpio, and uh, just do it that way. The only difference is this field doesn't have Masterpiece, and this is still a very, very powerful field. This one just lets you net more draws. Um, is Clown once per turn? Clown is indeed once per turn. Uh, you have to pay a thousand life points to use it. Uh, Pro Gamer fourteen twenty nine asks, "What do I think about tunes?" I think tunes are pretty cool, but uh, they're kind of slow, man. They don't do as much. Uh, they're a fun deck. Certainly, certainly a fun deck to play. Let me just add a little bit of a, uh, uh, there's 30 of you guys in here. Let me, uh, I can show you guys this deck if you guys really want to see it. Um, but let me, let me add, uh, one quick thing on here through my Photoshop. Cause I, I want to add it just so people know that they have the option to do it. Um, text, we're going to make that black. I'm going to go, okay. Oops. 
I'm just typing out something real quick, guys. I just got to add this real quick, guys. One second. I am still here. Do not worry, fellas. I am not taking off. Uh, I definitely am not going to leave you guys hanging like that. Besides, the NBA game is starting pretty soon, so I might have to take off in a bit. But you know what? I'm actually going to let you guys go. I had a fun time streaming with you guys. I'm going to lift up the camera here real quick just for you guys so you guys can see me. Uh, eh. And I'm upside down, sideways, all crooked. We're going to go reset transformation so you guys can see me. No, 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 no. Not on that. All right, transformation, reset transformation. Where is it at? Boom, right there for you guys. Uh, I'm back, fellas, uh, more or less. We're going to resize my head real here, real quick right here, my giant head. Got to move this down here. Sorry guys, there's so much stuff that I gotta move around on OBS that it's uh it's a little bit awkward sometimes. A little bit awkward. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put that there. Hopefully that's decent for you guys. But um yeah, we're gonna put on a duel in the background while I sign off while you while you guys are still here. I'm not signing off yet, but uh you guys asked who do I have today in the Warriors Cavs game? I have the Warriors, of course. Uh, this is the most important game, and I think they are gonna win it. I just don't see a reason that they're going to lose. Like, there's nothing that... I don't care that LeBron James is on the other team. I don't care that they're playing in Cleveland. There's no way that that many All-Stars has a bad... Oh, they all have a bad game. It's just not going to happen. Cleveland is going to have to hit, like, 50... Like, set, like, a finals record for threes. And they're going to have to, like, hope that the Warriors just absolutely suck and miss all their shots, which just isn't going to happen. Um... Yes, I, I know that Clown is only once per turn. I brought it back with Soul Charge that turn. Cl Clown is only once per turn. I use Soul Charge or Norden to bring it back. Um, I already used it once. So you can use Clown as long as you Soul Charge or Instant Fusion it back uh, a second time. So it doesn't really matter. It's just a, it's just serving the purpose of a second level 4 monster. So you guys don't have to worry about that. I, I know what I was doing with the play. Don't worry. Um, but see, I might just do like actual live stream test draws with you guys if you guys enjoy that. If you guys enjoy this live stream, please slap a like on it. It helps the channel grow. Uh, really means a lot. It doesn't matter that it's LeBron, man. It's uh, LeBron James. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's pretty wild. Let's see if we can find a fun duel for you guys here. What's a fun duel? Let's go on. Uh, let's find a, a link. Wait, let's see. Is this is this not okay? We got frogs versus burning abyss here. Seems so. Or Paleozoic, most likely. So pretty wild stuff. I really enjoyed this live stream with you guys. Um, I'll probably do it again this Friday. Hopefully I can edit my stuff, fix it up a bit, but I really enjoyed streaming with you guys. You guys make it so much more special. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. Take it easy, you guys. Stay tuned for another video. Maybe post a video today or tomorrow. We'll see. Tomorrow's my last day of class. So, I'm um, excited and anxious for that. And then I have finals next week. So, take care, guys. Gotta go watch the game right now. NBA Finals. Let's go, Warriors. I love you guys. Social media is down below in the description. Please donate. Anything you can it means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And hopefully I can earn enough money to go to Worlds, uh, the World Championship Qualifier this year. If I don't, then I won't be able to get you guys deck profiles. But, you know, it is what it is. Take care, guys. Have a blast. And uh, I really enjoy streaming. I'm, I'm excited to do it again.